Peace, demon world. At this time, I am Nicole Monique Pace, the Queen Empress, a Shadow Priestess, Isoteric Soul Star, and I'm here to keep this realm and reality current in World War Three. Agape and infinite gratitude to the Soul Family constellation. Today is Saturn's day, and that's Saturday, March 19, 2022. The sun is currently 28 degrees into the Piscean archetype. So to all the Pisceans still rocking out here, acknowledging your star days today, peace and more power to you and all of your individual missions as I greatly appreciate your service to us all. Thank you, Pisceans. At the top of Saturn's hour, 7.01 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, the moon is currently 11 degrees into the Libran archetype. This is what the Sabian symbols has to say about 11 degrees Libra. A professor peeking over his glasses, teaching, developing the ability to share what we have learned, seeing teaching as the revelation of light. Most of us like to share what we know with others, even at the simple level of giving directions to a stranger or tips for cooking. It is an aspect of knowledge itself that it desires to be known and passed from generation to generation, keeping itself alive and evolving. Knowledge is a living thing and all living things have an investment in the future. Those who have dedicated their lives in the pursuits of furthering their knowledge find that the real difficulty comes when trying to present it to others, younger students who need to be understood if they are to be instructed properly. All right. All right, then let's stay current. Check our alignment and talk aspects. All right, so we're going to get two, me two messages today for Saturn in Aquarius, semi sextile Mercury in Piscean. All right, so Saturn in Aquarius influences duty, collective karmic rectification, societal operations, and limitations as it relates to uh, humanity, the future social circles, rebellion and individualism, intellect, the paranormal and ingenuity. Mercury in Pisces influences communications, assimilations and conscious processes to be imaginative, artistically and creatively expressive, spiritual, charitable and subconscious. Sextiles influences one to commune with self as it is a 30 degree aspect to facilitate development and reduce inner conflict so be aware that moon, uh, be aware moon day the 21st through wednesday the 23rd of opportunities to create something new within as you relate duty restrictions and collective karmic rectification concerning society individualism and the paranormal Two, subconscious, charitable, and imaginative communications and assimilations, all right? Let's see what the tarot says. And, you know, that's for this first message. Uh, there's an entity here <clears throat> being called to make a choice toward an unbelievable amount of success. This person's decision has to do with emotional exploration and why they overburden themselves with vices, lower desires, addictions, and or power plays. This person can be a powerful soulmate if they knew, um, well, if they were courageous and explore why they're unable to respect working together equally and or do not have the skills to do so. To make peace with whatever situation that, you know, they're in, this person has to subdue their inner demons and overpowering animalistic natures. This person has struggles with being overly critical, mentally manipulative, possibly even violent and abusive, they do not like to admit when they do something that requires an apology for violating another party. This person is fighting for their overall success, career status, or, you know, just wealth in general. 
However, they're defensive against commitment, which keeps them stuck. This person is actually hurting their own feelings and severs connections with people because of their constant worrying, anxiety, guilt, and or insomnia. The universe is drilling it into this person that their success is connected to this present choice. It's one that will be generational and is connected to children in some way. This emotional state of being is stagnant and manifests jealousy, complications, rivalry, and just overall other toxic shit in their lives, okay? The universe says this person's wise counsel, both in spirit and in the physical in whatever way, is telling them to heal and follow their intuitive guidance. A whole new life phase of abundance and fertility awaits, but again, it comes through some sort of commitment, all right? Now for our next message, there's a man here or a person in the position to take action at this time that is participating in some kind of communication that involves a decision about a child. This could most likely involve court in some way. This person is involved in a situation that cannot be healed and they're trying to navigate their way, likely through something they've never even been in before. This person is or was in a rock bottom painful and or misfortunate type situation that they feel stuck in and I gotta say like for real for real that this could be sort of some sort of divorce that involves a child but for whatever it's hitting for somebody okay has hope and wish fulfillment with partnership and to keep it all real I'm just saying I'm getting strong vibes that this is an actual you know physical man separating from their child's mother or partner however you want to put that and sometime in the future near future even they are going to be standing strong as an authoritative protective leader whatever that's hitting for right <clears throat> partnered up with an abundant nurturing kind and beautiful partner that could also have children on their end okay but there's resistance when it comes to this healing and overall with overall wish fulfillment though okay this could do um this could have to do with strong feelings toward children and or concerns around shared money and or resources like say this is like a divorce right there's a small percentage of those that do hope that they can still work this out with their current partner but again it's very small <clears throat> For most, there's the reality that this current partnership is set in some kind of unpredictable, unproductive space. This person has studied themselves and knows they're absolutely unfulfilled in the situation. There is a legacy, generational wealth, and overall victory and success by surrendering this connection. This is not an easy situation for this person to step away from, okay? But there's no other choice but for this person to sever this soul tie. The universe says that whoever this person is communicating to, likely a lawyer or some other intellectual, will help them protect assets and move towards success. The universe says ending this situation could also include some kind of relocation or a change at a job. This person likely has to leave one or the two, okay? And again, this person desires an authentic connection and making this move ensures that that will um, that will happen because they work, they put in the work to deserve it. Okay. On to our spiritualist foot card of the day. Get off your ex's page, say a prayer and go to fuck the sleep. <laughs> You're not going to find anything worthwhile snooping around your ex's Insta or Facebook or Snap, whatever the fuck, okay? They're your ex for a reason. Ask yourself what you're looking for from them and see if you can give it to yourself. You almost always can. Then say a little prayer for all the lumpy, bumpy, broken hearts in the world, especially your own. Double brownie points if you can manage one for your ex's heart too, okay? Time for bed now. That is what I have for you at this time. I just saw a 9-11 on the clock. Please stay spiritual, uh, spiritually strapped out here. Don't get washed up under the current. And I'm going to talk to you soon. Peace.